In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the loading animation of your listing grid. So instead of the usual animation everybody uses, you can create something cooler. In this case, I'm using a Lottie animation, but you have the freedom to design it any way you want. So before we start, I want to share with you this article that I found in CocoBlox Help Center that was very helpful in the making of this video. Now let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you two versions, one for the regular Jet Engine listing grid, and the second for a listing grid triggered by a filter from JetSmart filters. So we're going to start with the regular one. So I'm going to click the plus icon, Flexbox, Direction Column. I'm going to go to the navigator and I'm going to name it Listing Container. Next, I'm going to navigate to the Widgets tab. I'm going to search for Listing Grid and click to add it to the container. I'm going to go to Listing and I'm going to load my listing. And set the post number to 3. Next, I'm going to go back to the Widgets tab and I'm going to add a container to hold our loading animation and I'm going to drop it just beneath our listing grid. Next, I'm going to go to the Navigator and I'm going to name this container Custom Loader. And now we can begin designing our loading animation. Anything you can place inside this container can serve as your loading animation. So I'm going to start with the heading widget. So I'm going to go to the widgets tab. I'm going to grab a heading widget and drop it into this container. Next, I'm going to go to title and I'm going to change it to loading. Next, I'm going to go to alignment and I'm going to align it to the center. Now I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to go to style, text color, and I'm going to change it to blue. I'm also a big fan of Loti animation, so I will add one that I've downloaded from lotifiles.com. Just go to the site, search for loading animation, and you will find plenty of great options to pick from. And you can choose something that matches your site perfectly. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to go to the widgets tab, and I'm going to grab a Loti and place it just above our heading widget. Next, I'm going to go to upload JSON file. I'm going to click on it, and you might get a warning pop-up. Just click continue. I'm going to select the Lottie animation and then I'm going to click the select button. Next, I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to enable the loop option. I'm going to go to style and I'm going to give it a width of 20%. And this will be our animation, the Lottie and the text. Now let's add a load more button. So I'm going to go to the widgets tab. I'm going to grab a button and I'm going to place it just under our custom loader container. I'm going to align it to the center and I'm going to change the text to load more. Now to link everything, we have to assign CSS IDs and classes. So I'm going to start by linking the button to the listing grid. So I'm going to go to the code page. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click on custom loader. I'm going to go to jet engine and I'm going to copy the query ID. I'm going to go back. Make sure that you're editing the button. Go to the button ID and paste the ID. Next, I'm going to select the listing grid. I'm going to enable the load more option. The load more type is going to be by click and I'm going to paste here the ID. And now the button and the listing grid are linked. Now let's assign CSS ID and classes to the custom loader container. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to copy the custom loader container CSS ID. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to go back. I'm going to select the custom loader container, advanced, CSS ID, and I'm going to paste here the ID. I'm going to go back. I'm going to copy the CSS class. Copy, go back, CSS class. Control V to paste it. Now I want to hide this container and we're going to do it by giving it a custom CSS. So I'm going to go back to my code page. I'm going to go to the container custom CSS button and I'm going to click to copy code. I'm going to go back to Elementor. I'm going to scroll down to custom CSS and I'm going to paste the code. And now as you can see, the container is gone. Now, if you want to bring it back to make changes, go back to layout, CSS ID and add the number one at the end. Make the changes and then delete the number one. Now let's get the final piece of code, which is the PHP code. So I'm going to go back to my code page. I'm going to go to the PHP code button and click to copy code. Now I'm going to navigate to my WordPress dashboard and I'm using the code snippets plugin to insert PHP codes. So I'm going to go to snippets, add new, and I'm going to name it custom loader JE. Next, I'm going to go to the function PHP tab and I'm going to paste here the code, but we are not done yet. Now we need to tell this code which page to target. And we're going to do this by using the slug of the page where the listing grid is located. So go to pages, find your page, click quick edit and copy the slug. Go back to your code, scroll up to the second row and where it says slug number one, replace it with the slug of your page. And now we need to scroll down to line number 60 and do the same. 
So we set slug number one, replace it with the slug of your page. Now, if you have more pages where you're using this custom loader, just get the slug and replace slug number two and replace slug number three, and you can do it as many times as you want. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna save changes and activate. Now I'm gonna go back to Elemental, Publish, and Preview. I'm gonna click the Load More button and as you can see, the animation appears. Now I wanna go back to Elemental and go through a couple of more things. So the first one is if you are using a simple animation, let's say only one widget, let's say a Loti. So instead of applying the CSS ID and the CSS class to the container, you can apply it directly to the widget. And that way you can get rid of the container. So I just want you to know that. The second thing I wanna show you is how to duplicate this listing grid. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to the navigator, I'm gonna select the listing container, right click and click duplicate. And for some reason it duplicated the custom loader container without this ID. And that's why the animation is showing. So to fix it, I'm gonna select the container, I'm gonna to go to advanced, CSS ID, and I'm gonna paste the ID. Now to make sure the second listing grid works correctly, we just have to add the number two in three different places where we see the text load more. So we're gonna start with the custom loader container. So I'm gonna go to the CSS class, load more, and add the number two at the end. Next, I'm gonna select the button, content, button ID, and add the number two here as well. And the third place is, I'm gonna select the listing grid, load more element ID, and add the number two over here as well. Now let's see if it works. I'm gonna click publish and preview. I'm gonna click on the first one and it works. I'm gonna scroll down to the second one and it works as well. Now, if you want to add a third listing grid, again, duplicate it and change it from number two to number three and so on. So the last thing I wanna show you is that we can change the load more type. So instead of by click, we can change it to infinite scroll. So I'm gonna delete this button. I'm gonna publish and preview. And now we have two listing grid on this page, one with the load more button and a second with infinite scroll. So that was the regular listing grid. Now let's do the JetSmart filter version. So I'm gonna start with a brand new page. I'm gonna click the plus icon, flexbox, and I'm gonna select this layout. One parent container with two child containers side by side. So I'm gonna click to add it. I'm gonna select the left container. I'm gonna go to width and I'm gonna change it to 15. Next, I'm gonna go to the widgets tab and I'm gonna search for checkbox filter. And I'm gonna click to add it. I'm gonna select my filter and I'm gonna go to this filter four and I'm gonna select jet engine. Next, I'm gonna select the right container. I'm gonna go to the width and give it 85. Next, I'm gonna go to the widgets tab and I'm gonna search for listing grid. And I'm gonna click to drop it. I'm gonna select my listing and I'm gonna set the post number to three. I'm gonna go back to the widgets tab. I'm gonna grab a container. I'm gonna drop it just above our listing grid. Then I'm gonna go to the navigator. I'm gonna name this container custom loader. And now we can start designing our animation. So just like before, I'm gonna go to the widgets tab. I'm gonna grab a lottie widget and I'm gonna drop it into this container. I'm gonna click the upload JSON file, click continue. I'm gonna select my lottie and then I'm gonna click select at the bottom right. Next, I'm gonna go to the settings and I'm gonna enable loop. Now I want this card to drive the other way. So I'm gonna go to advanced. I'm gonna scroll down to transform and I'm gonna click flip horizontal. Now I'm gonna go back to the widgets tab. I'm gonna grab a heading widget and I'm gonna drop it just beneath our car. And I'm gonna name it loading. I'm gonna align it to the center. I'm gonna go to style and change the color. And I want to make it bolder. So I'm gonna go to typography, weight and set it to 800. Now I want to add animation to this text. So I'm gonna go to advanced. I'm gonna scroll down to custom CSS and I'm gonna click edit with AI. And I'm gonna tell it that I want the flash effect. I'm gonna click generate code and insert. So now we are done with the animation. Now we need to assign the CSS classes and IDs again. So I'm gonna to go to the code page, JetSmart filters, and I'm gonna copy the query ID. Control C to copy, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna select the checkbox filter widget, content, query ID, and I'm gonna paste the ID. Next, I'm gonna select the listing read. I'm gonna to go to advanced CSS ID, and I'm gonna paste here also the ID. And now the checkbox filter and the listing grid are connected. Now let's continue with the custom loader container. So I'm gonna go back to the code. I'm gonna copy the CSS ID, Control C to copy. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna select the custom loader container, advanced CSS ID, and I'm gonna paste the code. Now let's make this container disappear. 
So I'm gonna go back to the code and I'm gonna click on the custom CSS to copy code. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna scroll down to custom CSS and I'm gonna paste the code. And now let's get the last code, which is the PHP code. So I'm gonna go back to the code page. I'm gonna click PHP code to copy. I'm gonna go to my dashboard, snippets, add new. I'm gonna name it custom loader JSF. I'm gonna go to the functions PHP tab and I'm gonna paste the code. Now we need to get the slack. So I'm gonna go to pages. I'm gonna find my page. I'm gonna click quick edit. And I'm gonna copy the slug. I'm gonna go back to the code, to the second row and where it says slug one, I'm gonna replace it with the slug of our page. In this version, we need to paste it only once. So now I'm gonna scroll down, save changes and activate. I'm gonna go back to Elementor, Publish and Preview. Now let's see if it works. So I'm gonna sort it by let's say Maserati. And as you can see, the animation appears. Very cool. You can also use the pagination widget that we covered in the last video. So let me show you. I'm gonna go back to Elementor. I'm gonna go to the widgets tab and I'm gonna search for pagination. I'm gonna grab the widget and I'm gonna drop it just beneath our listing grid. I'm gonna go to pagination 4 and I'm gonna select Jet Engine. Now we need to get the ID. So I'm gonna go to the Jexpo filter widget. I'm gonna copy the ID. Control C to copy. Go back to the pagination and paste the ID. Next, I'm gonna go to Style, Items, and I'm gonna change the color in the current state. So I'm gonna change the color to blue. And now I'm gonna Publish and Preview. I'm gonna click on the next page. And as you can see, the animation appears. By the way, you see this jump that we have every time I click on the next page? That's because we need to set a mean height to the custom loader container. So if I'm gonna go back to Elementor, I'm gonna select the custom loader container. I'm gonna go to layout, mean height. I know the 580 works for me, but you need to check what works for you. So I'm gonna click publish, and then we're gonna preview again. And I'm gonna click on the next page. And as you can see, there is no jump. So that's how you customize the loading animation of your listing grid. That's it for this one. Like, subscribe, and I'm gonna see you the next one.